Recently, Comcast responded to an FCC proceeding regarding its alleged blocking of BitTorrent traffic. In its discussion of how peer-to-peer -peer uses the network, Comcast didn't refer to a standards document, a software developer, or even a network engineer. Instead, it referred to a member of Congress, specifically Representative Mary Bono Mack from California. The part Comcast quoted from Representative Bono Mack was from a speech given at the State of the Net conference held January 30, 2008, where she said, The service providers are watching more and more of their ne network capacity monopolized by P2P bandwidth hogs who command a disproportionate amount of their network resources. But simply adding more bandwidth does not solve this dilemma. The reason for this is P2P applications are designed by nature to consume as much bandwidth as possible. Thus, more capacity only results in more consumption. Obviously, a member of Congress's statements are to be respected, yet there are more than a few problems with this one. I'd like to put the substance of her statement aside and focus on how her statement is being used. Remember, Comcast used Ms. Bono Mac's statement in their FCC comments, essentially relying on it as an expert statement about how peer-to-peer -peer networks work. An expert. Really? Well, thankfully, Later in her speech, Ms. Bono Mac addresses this herself. Sorry about the audio. That in Congress, we have so many issues that come before us, and if you're not before us educating us and talking to us, then somebody else is. And you are the experts, and I always find as a member of Congress, it's rather intimidating to go before the experts and act like we are the true experts we guys are. So please, if you have thoughts, concerns, issues, want to educate me, come to my office and see me. Clearly someone's been educating Ms. Bono Mac. The rest of her speech reveals that the telcos aren't the only ones who have been educating at least this representative on issues of network management and copyright filtering. This member in particular is important because of the committee she sits on. But as you heard, I sit on the Energy and Commerce uh, Committee and I sit on the subcommittee on telecom telecommunications and the internet. I am passionate about the preservation and protection of intellectual property, especially digital and, uh, inter intellectual property. In fact, when I approach internet policy decisions, the very first thing I ask myself is how will this impact intellectual property? Internet policy based in intellectual property protection. Wow. Why would a member of Congress intertwine these two separate issues? You only need a few minutes browsing OpenSecrets.org to realize that she's not the only member that the telcos and the content industry financially support. The point is that if, like us, you care about the issues like net neutrality and fair use of copyrighted works, we all have an uphill battle in Washington. Keep up to date on blogs like Public Knowledge, because when these two issues collide, we will call on you to act.